The governor of Derby County had uh, lodged a case on Friday to stop this uh, unlawful process of this uh, purported impeachment. Uh, the motion uh, purportedly lodged by Honorable uh, Imwatok did not meet the legal threshold that is set in Standing Order Number 67 and Standing Order Number 72 of the Nairobi City County Assembly Standing Orders. Now, that rendered the entire process legal, null and void, and he couldn't in any way proceed with a process that was in violation of the law. Number one, this whole motion was not in compliance with what is demanded of such a motion. He did not swear an affidavit, he did not produce the alleged evidence, he did not have the signatures verified of these purported MCAs who are in support of the motion. Remember, the law says that you must have each of these signatures verified of the honorable MCAs who ostensibly support the motion. So because this is lacking, the court is concerned about due process. How can the governor be expected to respond to allegations he has not seen? If you post a motion on the website of the assembly, but you do not post A, the affidavit of the mover, B, the verifying affidavits of the alleged one-third of the MCAs in support of this alleged motion, and C, you do not produce the evidence that he is supposed to look at, that you allege is in support of your motion, and that the governor is supposed to respond to. What you're doing is carrying on a kangaroo process. We respect it. Nothing evil intended by saying that. So the court has agreed that that due process is an imperative, is an integral part of the process of the purported impeachment. And therefore the court has said the impeachment motion cannot proceed. And the county assembly must comply. The county assembly is accosted by a larger and a bigger pro problem because you have an acting clerk who is seated in office in violation of the law. There is no vacancy in the office of the clerk of Nairobi City County Assembly. There is a substantive clerk in the name of Mr. Jacob Ngwele. And Mr. Ngwele has said he has never received this motion. He has never seen any evidence in support. He has never verified any signatures of the alleged MCAs whom they say were in support of this motion. And so when you look at the entire process, you have to question the political drive that is intended to achieve what is such a monumental aspect of governance in this country, pursuant to Article 181A or B or C of the Constitution. The removal of the governor is not your joke that you play in class as a class five people or a form one student. This is supposed to be a serious issue, but the flippancy, the uh, light-naturedness that this whole process is taking or had taken is shocking, is dismaying, and it's not something that we should be applauding as a nation. And so therefore, it is important that everybody understands that there was no motion in law for adjudication or debate. Let's not have this theatric, theatrics in support of something which we know does not exist in law.
on tentative business of the Bank of West Money on Tuesday, 3rd March 2020, or as may be adjoined to another date, end time, shall not proceed except in strict compliance with the provisions of Serving Order No. 67 and 72 of the Bank of West Money. This case will be mentioned 9th March 2020, 9 a.m., or soon thereafter, as will be called out in court. Against us, in the courts.